Good morning friends, happy Thursday. We are literally on our way out the door. James moved out this morning and it was perfect timing because it means I can go get his presents and bring them home, wrap them, hide them without him being here to see. He is so nosy every time I go to the shops, come home with a bag, he's like, what'd you get, where'd you go? I'm just like, I'll miss him, I'll miss him being at home but I won't miss him as well, if you know what I mean. But anyway, we've got about two hours before this one needs to go down for another sleep. And I always like to be home for her sleeps, if I can. Um, just because she has a better sleep at home. She usually has an hour or two hours at home. If we were out in the pram, she'd have like 20 minutes. And then I have a cranky baby, so. Luckily, I just live down the road from the shopping center we're gonna go to. And I also, found my engagement ring that I've been missing for quite some time. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go to the shops. You ready? Ready to go? She's got her purse, let's go. Okay, Rosie, you ready to go? Okay, it's so hard to see. Getting out here. Speed bump. Okay, we are back in the car now and we're just not having very much luck over the last few days. Um, I don't know. I, just, I went in there to try and find something for James and just nothing looked right and I've already placed an order for something for him online, but it's not gonna get here in time. So I just wanted something else, you know, but all I could find were like his favorite. Oh, okay, you're pulling out in front of me. Okay, that's nice. Um, all I could find was like his favorite biscuits and chocolate. So I just thought tomorrow, Mabel and I can just wrap them up individually. I don't know, make it a little bit, little bit interesting. Um, and then I actually have to go and pick up his Uggs, his slippers that I ordered him for Father's Day like a month ago. Um, but I really don't want to go there with the kids because it's on this really busy street and it's not like inner center or anything. You have to park on the street and to get both kids out and the double pram and a tight park. I'm just like, I just don't, don't want to put myself through that, you know, like a five minute out and in will turn into like a 40 minute out and in by the time two are out, pram out, unfolded, and then two back in, for the pram down, back in, you know. I'm just rambling now. Okay, well, I'm going to head home, give Rosie a feed. She is off breast milk today. My boobs are so sore. I definitely am not drinking a lactation smoothie today because my boobs are probably rocket right off my chest. Um, yeah, go home, see if she wants a feed, hang out until she goes down for a sleep, and then I'm gonna make falafel wraps, and I am excited. I was thinking about them the whole time at the shops. It's like my whole life now, it's just babies and food. What <laughs> food I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna prep burgers for tonight as well, see? See what I mean? All food and babies. Not mad about it though. I love food and I love babies. Okay, I'm definitely, definitely gonna go now. <laughs> okay, we're home now. Ooh, this lighting's so bad. Um, I had to change my shirt because the other one was too hot. But as I came in the front door, I noticed something sticking out the mailbox. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get it. How did they even get this in here? Okay, it's actually a package from Hey Mama. I just love, love what they are doing at the moment. Um, if you didn't know, um, they actually have bought out a lactation 
protein powder that is double choc flavor and tastes amazing like so freaking good and you know just open this don't mind the mess behind me that's just what I brought home with me out of the car oh, so cute so they've actually sent me some little sample packs that I can send out to people because um, I had a few people on Instagram reach out to me say that they were desperate to try it but um, they were out of stock until November I think or mid-November I don't know I'll leave it in the description and I actually was sending them portions out of one of the bags that I have but hey mama have sent me some portions to to send out which is so cool thank you so much well that's that's so exciting so now that that's open I am gonna make lunch I started getting things out when Rosie was awake but just put her down and then I eat my favorite wraps there's the hey mum and stuff there eat these wraps with the leftover falafel and some salad and this lettuce needs to get used up so yeah that's what I'm gonna go do okay it's been a while since I've talked to you it's been about an hour and a half Rosie's still asleep which is good I had lunch I've actually made dinner cleaned up um, emptied the dishwasher restacked it all of those fun things but if I can today I really want to sort out um, Maple's chest of drawers full of her clothes just because it's so hard to find anything in there she still has all of her jeans and her trackies and everything like that and I just want to it's way too hot I want to pull them out oh no I thought it was the mailman damn it is it the mailman no um and same thing with her jumpers and things like that so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> I have to pull down that so you can even see me Air conditioner, this is the only spot it'll go because it has to go in that window. And this is what her shirt drop <laughs> is looking like at the moment. And because she's wearing undies now, I've got her undies up here, socks in there. And there's just too much stuff in here. And like this, this is like a fleece lined dress. She didn't wear this once this winter because winter on the Gold Coast just isn't hot enough. So I don't know, that might go go to the upper shelf, we'll see. Um, I know what to do with all of her like long sleeved shirts, like this is her favourite monkey shirt. I know whether they keep it for Rosie or send it to the upper shelf. looking much much better heaps more space draw number two so much better all of this back bit is empty now and I filled up a whole tub and this bottom drawer used to be full with jumpers and I've just kept out some their swimmers and put the rest in that box but my battery's flashing so it's probably going to be all you see with this oh op shop pile op shop pile Pile for Roro. <laughs> Turn off my Celine Dion for a minute. I look disgusting because we've been sitting outside for the past hour. I've just got Rosie here. We just got some mail. Um, yeah, we just had our, or well, she's had her lunch outside. I've brought the toys out. Oh, 
um, took my pants off. They were too tight after lunch. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to open this mail. I don't know. This one, it feels like an exciting package, but it hasn't got like a who's it from on the back. I'm actually going to try to sneak away and make a coffee, hopefully. Or these toys will keep her happy for a minute. And I've actually um, read a few chapters of my book just sitting out here with her. It's been so, so nice. Um, so the new book I'm reading is The Miss... The Mystery of Mercy Close by Marion. She's one of my favourite authors. I've been reading it for about two weeks because I just haven't had much time. But almost oh, like a quarter of the way through. But I am enjoying it. So anyway, coffee time. Just hang out with Rosie. And then it'll be time to go pick up Maple. With the clothes, like I managed to do maples and I really want to do roses as well because her chest of drawers is like double the size of maples and it's just got so much stuff. I really want to declutter my own wardrobe as well so maybe that'll be another video. I don't know. I'm having all these thoughts today. I'm just like, can you tell I've just been alone? Because I'm just, I'm just talking to myself all day. Like, Rosie, can you learn to talk so we can have a chat? So mummy doesn't go mental. Oh, poor Talon. Still so croaky, aren't you? Hope you're happy. She's cut her third tooth this week. You gonna let mummy make you coffee? Yeah, I'll give you some more toys, some more mail. Yeah, the wipes, always, oh, water bottle, look out, exciting stuff. Give me a laugh. Give me a laugh. You're just laughing so hard. Purple pet. Purple pet. Just put Rosie down for her last sleep. She's not asleep yet. She's always so tough to get to sleep in the afternoon. But she'll self settle in a few. She's just talking to herself, but she'll self settle in a few minutes. But I thought I'd just show you my little setup. I have to film a little bit of content here, so it's pretty professional. I'm gonna use the sanitizer bottle as my tripod and then just shit all over the floor. And then hopefully I can get it done, edited, sent away before Rosie wakes up. But I really wish I had the energy to like make more of an effort with my appearance. I just have to use a very strong filter. <laughs> But anyway, I don't know what else, if anything else, is going to happen for the rest of the day. I think James is actually going to pick Maple up on his way home, so we'll see, see how we go. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of a chaotic night because Rosie hasn't been super settled today and Maple woke up so early. But I'll just let you know. I'm just having a bottle. Rosie's just playing with some toys. Did you have a good day today, Maple? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, I look very attractive. Oh, so do you. What? <laughs> I'm sick. What are you talking about? It's <laughs> going to put dinner together. Are you gonna use that drill? Hmm, good one. Dad. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Thanks, Mummy. Yeah, Mummy's making burgers for Mummy and Daddy's dinner. Oh, want it. Pardon? You want it? You won't eat these. Bit yucky for maple. Thank you, what I got. Can you put that back in the fridge for Mum? Thank you so much. Open it. No. No, different.
Thank you, Maple. First day. Pardon? Bye.